Hi, this is Max with Ideal Satellite Services coming to you from my headquarters here in Priest River, Idaho. I want to welcome you and thank you all for your emails and subscriptions. Keep watching us and uh, today we're going to introduce to you the Lexium Festiline 6100 Mini. We like this meter and I think you will too. It's small, practical and easy to use. Thank you. Unpacking the Lexium Fast Align 6100 Mini. In the box, you get your Lexium manual. Of course, you get the meter, nice and compact. In for the satellite and out to the receiver. The receiver is the one that powers this meter. And you also get a little compass there to get yourself a general direction as to where you need to aim the dish. You also get a battery pack with a 10 battery AA battery pack. Also a lanyard that uh, you plug right into the uh, battery pack. And you can plug into the receiver side so you can power the meter. You get an F81 barrel. And of course you can also use a 110 adapter. You can plug into the receiver side and power the meter for lining your satellite dish. All right, let's have some fun with the meter. First of all, let's get a feed from a satellite. I'll plug in right here. By the way, I have this satellite aligned to Galaxy 19, so we'll see how it works. We'll plug in the uh, battery pack uh, jumper or lanyard, whatever you wanna call them not a lanyard uh, it's a jumper sorry so now we'll take the battery pack and plug this in ah, there goes the meter You're welcome let's see it says fine satellite that's a pretty good uh, display can you see it all right okay uh, let's first of all find the list let's, so let's arrow down to find list and press OK. Now I need to look for a satellite, so let's look until we get, oh, there it is, Galaxy 19. So arrow to the left once and press OK. And it says, please wait. The frequency we're going to look at is a vertical frequency. And by the way, the meter displayed that it was on uh, LMB 10750, which is what I have on the dish. Make sure that you always check that. If it's a universal LMB, make sure it says 10600 or 9750 to 10600. Okay, so that frequency will work. That is a valid frequency. So if I press OK, then it'll give me the strength and the quality. This is a long run and 43% uh, is all right. We'll see what it does on a satellite. Very good. Now I know we're not at the uh, satellite doing the alignment, but this is a cool feature. If this is, if we were not on Galaxy 19 and we were on another satellite, for example, at uh, 101, then we wouldn't get anything on here. It shows a sensitivity of 79, but that's not a lock. Um, since the sensitivity is basically noise. But if you go back over to Galaxy 19, it identifies, it shows us the sensitivity, which dropped down to where it's supposed to be about 78% and a quality 43. You can also turn off the buzzer by just going down and select on or off. There's a, there it is, off. You can do a lot of stuff with this. You can even use a dissect switch, uh, which I'm gonna highlight right now. You can either turn it on or turn it off to operate multiple switches. So that's great. You can also turn on 22K, you name it. All right, this is a uh, bench test for now. Read your manual, it'll give you more information on that. Add a transponder on this list is basically arrow down until we go into add transponder and press OK. Once you have located your uh, satellite, <clears throat> you basically have to arrow up or down and press OK and notice that it puts up an icon, I mean it highlights a number. And you just scroll up or down. In this case I want to program 11842 so now I'll arrow right to the next one. And I go down 
and go right again and then down again to put an 8 right again 1184 so I need to go down to 4 and then right again and then 2 and now I have 11842 programmed on the screen so now I press OK and then arrow down and I will highlight the symbol rate in this case I'm gonna do OK and then the frequency symbol rate is 22,000 so 2 is fine uh, I need 0 here so I need to go up to 0 and right again to 0 down <clears throat> now basically now I have 22,000 there the polarity is correct on horizontal so I'm going to hit OK and then exit and it's going to say OK to save say yes and now one moment there it is and now let's go back to the list and go up to find satellite press OK and uh, we're gonna look for Galaxy 19 so just scroll through and find Galaxy 19 there's Galaxy 19 and press OK and notice now that on the list I have 11842 program down there I programmed it again uh, just so I could have a sample for you guys. But you can program as many transponders as you want. Alright folks, we're outside. I turn on the meter and uh, I'm going to go to the list. Arrow down to list. Hit OK. And then I'm going to arrow to the right to get to my Galaxy 19. Then hit OK. It should bring me to my list I'm gonna arrow down and select 11842 and uh, here we go now I'm gonna pull the satellite over so that we can see when we have a luck there we go we're getting something there 28 percent oh. there you go 28 38 so now all I need to do is adjust my elevation and skew to peak this as high as possible. My elevation looks like it might be low. Alright, that's the Lexium Faster Line 6100 Mini. Okay, here's another mode that's kind of cool. You can hit the Find Satellite OK. And then I'll bring you to the list. Galaxy 19 is the one that I have already scanned here. I haven't aligned it yet. As you can see, I'm only 28% there. So I can go up, for example, and select a different frequency. I'm on horizontal now. So let me go up to another one. Go to the next frequency, which would be vertical. And it shows that I have 43% all. So you can see which side I'm, I'm a quality here, that I've got more vertical and I have horizontal. So I need to balance those two out. So it's a great way to just go here and then arrow right to horizontal C28 so I need to peak this so it gets more than 28 more like split the difference uh, but first I need to get as high as quality as I can I just want to demonstrate this meter to you and uh, if the buzzard's annoying well just go arrow down just like this until you get to the buzzard and uh, arrow left or right and it turns it back on see alrighty